Hello YouTube, this is Roger from Roger's Reviews. <clears throat> Today we're going to be uh, splicing some, <clears throat> or actually cutting the, if you, you ever have ropes like this and uh, basically you, uh, <clears throat> they're a pain to tie knots in and they unravel. Um, what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to fix your, uh, your ropes. And I do this every once in a while because <clears throat> we uh, run a tree service. And uh, these ropes, <clears throat> normally uh, they're taped up and they're melted at the ends. But after a while, you use a rope, they kind of separate and deburr. And then you, got, you end up with something like that. So what you're going to need <clears throat> to fix this is a... Some electrical tape, um, a good sharp knife uh, with a serrated edge, and the little teeth on the bottom there, like a so. Um, you can do it with a sharp knife, but it, it helps when you have these serrated teeth. It keeps it cut through it a lot faster. And then you'll need like a, some type of lighter. I like to use these, or a small torch, actually. But since we're only doing one today, um, this is what we're going to use. First thing you want to do is decide uh, where you're going to put <clears throat> put your tape and how much of the the rope you want to save. And sometimes you can feel inside the rope; it's real squishy, and the inside's basically um, soft. You want to go back to the rope's kind of stiff and firm, and, and you can tell it's <clears throat> the rope's still good. So basically, what you do, or if you want to save the rope. You won't need every inch. You just basically twist it and you get it as tight as you can. And then you put the tape, start here and you put the tape down. What I'm going to do, since it's already unraveled this far, I'm going to go ahead and put the tape further back. Um, and you want to get some good electrical tape. Don't get the stuff from the dollar store because it ends up break down faster. So basically, you just wrap it as tight as you can. And I usually like to wrap it probably about, a, about two inches because what you're going to do, you're going to cut it in the middle. Um, you're not just going to cut the end off. That way you got a really nice um, area to work with. So like you see, I didn't just tape the end. I kind of taped a little bit longer. And then what you do, I, I cut it right in the middle. So I don't know if you can see this, but... Uh, put the camera down a little bit so we can see I just simply cut it right in the middle and you want to have a cutting board or a piece of wood or something because you have to press pretty hard and you just keep cutting and cutting and cutting and you twist a little bit and this this knife is actually pretty sharp so you want to be careful but Keep cutting. I'm sorry about the camera. Shaking the camera all over the place. I'm almost all the way through. I'm going to use a serrated edge. That really cuts through it faster. Almost. Got a little bit left. So. There we go. Now you got a nice end. And what I like to do is just um, take a lighter and just kind of melt it a little bit. And that just basically keeps it from unraveling and it gives you a nice nub on the end. Sometimes I'll even burn them and then uh, let them burn for a while. And then just dab it like that. And that really keeps your end from falling apart. Be careful, it's hot, so don't you don't want to put your fingers on it right away. Okay, we're going to do the other end, and then we'll be done. Here's what you're left with. You can do your little, your little dusting around the house. <laughs> All right, one more. And like I said, this is just a practice rope. This isn't one of the ropes we use. I'm just going to use it for uh, uh, demonstrating tying knots and what have you. It's not really going to be used for anything... Uh, that important. Maybe uh, use it to tie something down, but mainly just for demonstration purposes, because this, this 
rope here was inexpensive. This I usually use uh, old climbing rope, which has like <clears throat> over 5,000 pounds of tensile strength. This here would probably have maybe 100, 200 pounds of tensile strength when it was new. Now it doesn't have hardly any strength, so that's why I'm just using it for demonstrations. It's only about 10 feet long, so again, I apologize for the shaking the table up. The table's not very stable. Actually, I'm really strong and I'm shaking the whole house now. <laughs> Almost. This rope is actually a little tougher than I thought it would be. But, but yeah, this knife is pretty sharp. So, almost. A little more. Come on. There you go. All right. We're going to burn the, and you have a little duster. Gonna burn the tip. And this isn't like super necessary, but I always do my ropes like this and it uh, seems to last a little bit longer when you do them like that. Like I said, you just dab a little bit. And you have a nice, nice burnt edge there. Now our, no our rope is ready. <clears throat> and when I have smaller ropes like this, I usually just... Um, wind them together like a a um, extension cord. I uh, even the ends up. I make a loop. I pull the loop out and then I just make another loop and then I make another loop and I just keep pulling them through until I'm, I run out of rope. And what's nice about this they, See, it's like a small package. You can throw that in the back of your trunk or put it behind the seat. It doesn't take up any room. And what's nice about this rope, <clears throat> the way we do it, once you pull out that first knot, it just you just pull on it. It usually just pops right apart. See? And you, and there's no tangles, and you got your rope. All right, I'm going to do that one more time. You make your rope, you get your ends even, and then you go to your other end where it's in, t in half, and then you just make a loop, and you stick it through, and you got a, you got a loop right there, and you just simply pull a loop through, pull a loop through, pull a loop through, you just keep doing that until basically you're uh, out of rope. Then we got a little bit left, you stick the ends through. Kind of just get a little tug, and then that rope right there, you can throw it in a backpack, you can throw it in the back of your seat, you can throw it in the trunk, and it'll always stay like that until you need it. And it won't never tangle, and it, uh, it'll be easy to access. If you like this review, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, next demonstration, we're going to be uh, uh, doing climbing knots and uh, Boland's knots and a few other knots, but I'll keep each knot separate video. That way uh, you don't have to worry about <clears throat> watching a bunch of knots you don't want to learn how to do, or you can watch them one at a time. All right, this is Roger's Reviews. Thank you very much. If you like this review, crush the like button, and please subscribe, and we'll bring you more knots. Have a great day.